going on Shinobi, it's your boy Saikage, and this video is going to be a little interesting because I'm not actually playing the game, instead I'm going to be doing the tier list, so I'm not going to talk a lot, I'm going to get right into it. First then, well first of all, this is for your Bizarre Adventure, if you know, because you probably clicked on the title and saw that, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the, you know, I'm going to do, do six pistols first, so six pistols, I feel like I feel like it's a solid C tier because it's not like the best for fighting, but it's really good. It's really good for things like um, farming. So, I. Hmm. It's a tough one because some people would say B tier for farming and because it's. Like, it, it has good moves. It's good for PvP if you're not fighting a time stop user. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it at C tier for now. Because I, I, I feel like it, it's really a good stand and all that. I, I could see myself using it for PvP and farming, but you wouldn't just catch anyone just putting um, a, 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 a sex pistols. See, I don't know why I call it sex, six pistols up to B tier, because it's for a, a B tier stand. I, I would go with something like uh, I don't want to do something that I have here. Let me think of a good, like Crazy Diamond, because I think honestly it it has to have, have like a, a decent power, like enough enough to be good for PvP and for farming. So yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do hmm, I'm gonna do sticky fingers next. Sticky fingers is one of those stands where I feel like it's gonna be B tier Yeah, at least B tier because it has the zipper move for transportation. It has a really powerful barrage. Um it has the extension fist where like you, you punch your fist out, so it also has that range on like a lot of other stands it has the actual actually hold up, I think I can go to the uh Alright, so as you guys can see here, the barrage is really fast for sticky fingers. Like, it's one of the, like, you can't even see the stand before it starts punching you. It's really fast, and then it, yeah, it has zipper grab. It's just, it has a lot of range. And then, not even just that, it also has a zipper glide move where you literally just zip forward. So, yeah, it's, it's really good, which is why I'm going to put sticky fingers up to B tier. Um, next up, we have... Mr. President, um, Mr. President, I, I don't want to put it at D tier, cause, I mean, it, it, it's, I'm gonna go ahead and put Mr. President at D tier, actually, um, if anybody knows why it should be higher, just let me know, cause I, I don't feel like, like, it's good if you want to annoy people, it's not really good for PvP, but if you have an argument, like, that's different, just, let me know because I just look it, it's annoying because people can just instantly send you into their room and you can't do anything about it but like wait five seconds and you can exit and just kill them easily so uh, it's it's not the best stand but I, I mean it's annoying it's good for trolling I guess but yeah I'm gonna just put this at D tier and we're just gonna forget about this all right so next up I want to go ahead and do Hierophant Green. All right, I'm gonna go back to the Trello for this one because Hierophant Green does actually have some moves that I feel like should be appreciated. First of all, it's a long distance stand, which is good. It's not. This is another one like Mr. President, except it's actually a decent stand. Okay, so first of all, this is this this is really doesn't mean much, but I just want to let you guys know it does actually have a rare barrage, which is really sick. I forgot to mention that. And then this is the move that I think is like the most important manual control. This is really toxic because you could just like hide in a building and just use this and then just go fly away and attack people. So unlike a bizarre day, the emerald barrier is invisible. So you can place this and nobody is going to see this until they actually touch it, which is why I'm going to put this in at uh, yeah, C tier because while it's not like good, good good i think it's it's one of those it's one of those stands where like it's it's good but it's not the best b tier i would say is more average okay king crimson i mean not king crimson killer queen killer queen i gotta say is actually surprisingly good like most jojo games project jojo a bizarre day killer queen is average in this game killer queen has to be a really top tier stand I'm so surprised I think that this is a tier worthy or B tier um, 
I honestly can't decide because it's just really busted. You can place down coins on your enemy. The moment they go near it, it you'll lose your legs, meaning you can't run away. You can place bombs pretty much anywhere. Stop signs, traffic lights, benches, and then the moment that somebody touches one of these stop signs, it's over for them. So it's just, it's really toxic to fight against, and it's also really powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and... You guys are probably going to question me for this, but I'm going to have to put it at A tier to be honest because it's just, it's it's really annoying to fight against. I mean, uh, I don't know if they actually have this in the Trello, but if they do, I want to show this to you guys. Alright, Killer Queen right here. So, it's just, it's really toxic to fight against a, a Killer Queen user. You can pretty much put, you can turn a player into a bomb, but you can also turn anything into a bomb. By the way, these coins, they're really easy to find. They spawn around the city everywhere. Then you also have Sheer Heart Attack, which does 24 damage, and that's like 24 punches. 24 damage is 24 punches worth of Star Platinum, so it's just really toxic. But anyways, moving on. Gold Experience. <laughs> this stand is one of those stands, I'm telling you guys. It's, it's one of those stands where, like, it's... Oh my god, it's... Uh, it's not godly, but if you know how to use it right, if you have the skill for this stand, then it's going to show. Because this is one of those stands where if you're skilled, if, like, if you have a lot of skill, it'll be shown. Because the stand takes a lot of skill to use. And if you use it correctly, it's just a really good stand. So, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it's, it's like you would expect any gold experience to function in a game. Now, Gold Experience and Killer Queen are both Requiem stands, which means that you can evolve them, which immediately places their value up. But, unlike Kill I don't actually remember, does Gold Experience have a healing move? Because if it does, that really does increase its value. I oh, it actually does, and it also reattaches limbs. Okay, well, that's 55 healing. Wow. That's really good. And then it you can also heal other players, which is why I'm going to go ahead and put Gold Experience at B tier, because... First of all, you can heal people and yourself. You can friggin' um, you can evolve into a Requiem stand, which immediately puts it at at least B tier, at least. Now, if it was a stronger stand by itself, I would have to put it at A tier, because as you guys saw, Killer Queen by itself is at least A tier worthy. Now, if you were fighting a Time Stop user with Killer Queen, you can just place the coins down and then take them with you. Like if you're low, you can just explode them. So it's just a really busted stand, but. Next up, because I don't want to make this video too long. Silver Chariot. Silver Chariot. It's it's Silver Chariot, I'm gonna have to put an A tier. Cause it's it's another one of those stands where it's strong by itself, but it has a requiem that's even more powerful. Like its base form, just its base is really powerful. But when you turn it into a requiem stand, which means that it obviously has the potential to evolve into a requiem stand, it just becomes even more stronger silver chariot it's uh, if, you've ever, if you've ever played rogue lineage you already know why i'm saying this about silver chariot but uh, all right so first of all one of the main features about silver chariot you can take the armor off which doesn't affect your health at all which is really important for you guys to know it does not affect your health meaning you can take your armor off and it does nothing meaning you may as well have kept it off the entire time and it increases your damage. Let me just tell you, Silver Chariot is at least Star Platinum level speed and strength. And strength. And it's moves. It all has really good damage moves. So that's why it's at A tier. But yeah, next up. I don't wanna I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of A tier, so I'm just I'm gonna get them out of the, these out of the way. The hand. <laughs> I I'm gonna be honest, I don't know too much about the hand, like in this game. I know that the moves, especially the erasure is really powerful and honestly I don't know too much about the specs but I'm gonna have to put it at B tier because I know that the damage is really busted and you can also I don't know if you guys noticed but you can erase limbs so that's also a really good feature so I'm just I'm gonna just go ahead and you know what yeah I'm gonna put it at B tier uh, next up magicians red okay this then magicians red uh, <laughs> I was fighting one the other day, and this stand, Magician's Red, is really, really, really busted. Like, I'm it, it, it's actually, it's actually such a strong stand. Surprisingly, the burns, 
uh, I'm pretty sure that the burns actually remove your limbs. I don't actually remember, but it's really powerful. It has the Ankh moves, um, the burning effect in general. It's like it's like having a poison effect on you. It's really powerful. So I'm gonna put it at. Mm, I want to put it at B tier, but I also don't want to have too many stands at B tier. So I kind of want to put it at C tier. But I'm telling you guys, it's still a good stand, no matter what. Okay, so Star Platinum. Star Platinum, I, I think we all know that this is just going to go at A tier. And since Star Platinum and the World are pretty much the same stand, that's going at A tier too. King Crimson is one of those stands where, just like Star Platinum, well not Star Platinum, just like Killer Queen, um, um, Golden Wind, <laughs> not Golden Wind. Just like Killer Queen, Queen Golden Experience, uh, Silver Chariot, it, it has a powerful base form, meaning it's strong enough to fend for itself without being in Requiem. So it's already at least B tier. Then it has all of the time erasure moves, which I haven't even gone into yet. So Killer Queen, I mean not K Killer King Crimson, obviously obviously has its time erasure. Okay, but it's also it's it's more than that because obviously you have at ed ed I can't say that you have um. Invincibility frames and use at et I can't say that. And then you also have um, time skip counter. So when somebody hits you while you're using time skip counter, you hit them back. Like it, it's a really powerful counter, and a lot of people use it to start their fights off. So yeah, you also get time skip and pretty much Star Platinum, the world, same thing, same thing. Time erasure, time erasure is good because unlike time uh, stop, it's not actually as visible. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, Silver Chariot, I mean, um, King Crimson, A tier. Now, Cream. Cream, I feel like, is a B tier stand. Because it's good, but it's not... It, it, I, I mean, you guys can just look at the moves. It's, it's okay. It's not godly. It's not godly, but... I mean, at least in this game, you can actually see yourself when you use cream. It's not like you're blind, which is good. But, yeah, cream is just, it's just that B tier. It's not like too much to talk about. Crazy Diamond is one of those stands where it has a powerful base, but it doesn't have another evolution, which means it's just going to have to go up B tier. You can heal people and construct useless walls. Um, it does have a shard move, but it's not, it's Crazy Diamond, there's not a lot to talk about. Um, it's, it's a good stand, it's definitely a good stand, but, I mean, the wall can block projectiles, and that's pretty much it. That's one thing I didn't know is that Crazy Diamond has a rage mode, so that's, that's pretty cool, but... Yeah, I mean, it's 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 good. It's not godly. It's it's a good stand though, so it's going to be tier. Aerosmith is actually the first stand that I started off with playing Your Bizarre Adventure. It's a good stand, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not especially good. I'm gonna have to put it at C tier as well. It's good for farming, like Sex Pistols. And finally, these three stands. Okay. Silver Chariot Requiem, we're gonna start with that. Right. <laughs> S tier. Silver Chariot Requiem has the ability to, First of all, you can do manual control like Hierophant Green, but except this time you have infinite range, meaning you can go anywhere in the map. If someone hits you, their entire screen goes fuzzy, they grow really big, and they can't move. So you can just sit there pummeling them until they die, no matter what rank they are, no matter what rank you are. So yeah, it, it's busted. Um, oh my god, King Crimson Requiem, King Crimson Requiem, I, do I even need to say anything about this one, do I, it's, it's not even in the anime, do I even need to say anything about this one, King Crimson Requiem summons a sight to tear through reality itself and through limbs, it's just busted, although I'm not gonna lie, Dimension Slash is kinda hard to hit, but, yeah, it, it it's busted. So yeah, S tier easily. Last but not least, Gold Experience Requiem. 
Okay, well. I think this is obvious on like a bizarre day in Project JoJo. Um, the passive for Return to Zero doesn't exist. You have to press it yourself, which does invoke a lot more skill. So it's not going to be as disgusting. It's still going to be pretty disgusting though. Um, you have healing, all of that. You can heal yourself, heal others. Cancel time, stop abilities, all that jazz. And... Yeah, honestly, there's not really much to say about that. This is where I'm going to leave the final tier list. But, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.